What's up? It's your boy Carcino, man, and I have avoided talking about too much Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather, because <clears throat> to me, I'm like, okay, we talked about it enough. Something's got to happen or it's not going to happen. So Floyd announced that he's officially coming out of retirement only for Conor McGregor. And he wants the fight to happen by June via fight height. So now we're sitting here wondering what's the holdup? If the holdup is the UFC and Dana White allowing this to happen, then why is nobody really putting the screws to the UFC and Dana White publicly? Because the UFC needs this fight, y'all. <clears throat> they need to, to come in and co-promote this thing or watch their company die. Because they dying, y'all. Y'all don't know it, but they dying. They're not making what they used to make on pay-per-views. They're making gate money. Gate money ain't going to keep everybody happy. It ain't going to keep the lights on. They need to make that pay-per-view money. Can't make pay-per-view money without no stars. Because no matter how many of these pink folks tell you they love the UFC and how great it is, and no matter how much they go, Let the party on the floor! Let the party! No matter how much they tell you it's the greatest thing on earth, they don't watch it. They don't watch it enough. They don't pay for pay-per-view. They're not going to spend $60, $70. Their girl's not going to sit there to watch it unless it's some fighter they know. He's got some publicity around him. Conor McGregor became the face of the UFC by all his antics. So by him doing this, he became a fan favorite. They don't care about wins and losses in the UFC. So what does the UFC really has to lose by making the fight happen? Nothing. You guys screw Nate Diaz out of his fight. The second one. And you guys are... Apparently, screwing everybody else out of their positions. So, it's not about wins and losses. It's about making money. You put this fight together, everybody's going to make money. So, everybody wins. Floyd is the one at risk. He can't take a loss in the ring. If he lose to a Conor McGregor, what does that does do to his legacy as a boxer? If he gets knocked down by Conor McGregor, what does that do to his legacy as a boxer? If he loses a round to Conor McGregor, what does that do to his legacy as a boxer? You see what I'm saying? Just to let you know, that's exactly what's going to be the talk. If Floyd get hit by Conor McGregor, they're going to be questioning his legacy. But the people will pay out the nose to see it. That's all we know. So if they want to get it on in June, I've already signed off on it. Like, look. First, I'm like, I don't want to see this stuff. It's a distraction. But now I'm like, you know what? Get your money. Floyd's done. Like, as far as fighting and... What has he got to fight for? I mean, it's, it's like no other money out there for him. What does Floyd look like fighting somebody for $10, 20000000 million? He, to everybody else, that's a dream payday. But Floyd Mayweather, that's a pay cut. That's a night off. So, no more nights off for Floyd. 
He's ready to go full fledged. He fought Manny Pacquiao. That was the last mega fight out there. And Pacquiao hasn't been in a dangerous fight since. They're protecting their money, keeping it. I don't know what they're doing with Manny. But. For Connor, he's going to continuously hold the UFC and put their feet in the fire. Because he wants this fight. He wants the money from the fight. <laughs> so, let's get this money. I'm out.